When you think of fuel, you probably think of gasoline or diesel. But did you know that during the late 1980s, FEMA produced a 39-page report describing how to build a wood-burning gas generator? If you think I'm making this up, I present to you Jared Patterson, a Pitt State student who actually built this contraption for his course project. When you first look at it, it's kind of intimidating, and it was to me too. I. When I first saw it, I didn't know what it was, and that was only a couple months ago. It basically just takes the energy that is trapped in wood, and we convert it to a gas and burn it in an engine. Sounds simple, right? Well, the idea was presented in Scott Norman's Fuels, Combustion, and Lubricants class. And for Professor Norman, seeing Jared meet and exceed his expectations is what it's all about. I think that that's probably the best thing for any uh, uh, college instructor is be able to see a, a student excel at something beyond your expectations. That they take it, they run with it, uh, the students are engaged and excited. And what was fun is that we were able to bring the whole entire class out uh, and actually watch this fuel process to run and see it run. And students had a lot of questions. So, so I could have talked about it for a day of lecture, but coming out and seeing it operate and watching it and smelling it and hearing it is all, it's just great. As for words of advice for other students who plan on creating something from scratch, Jared explains they should have no fear. Just go at it head on and just take it on. We're here to learn, so if you have to learn about it, you have to read about it and, and that just applies to the real world. Sometimes your boss is going to come and say, do this and you don't want to say, well, I don't know how. You say, okay, and you figure out how. Kind of applies to the real world, you know, if it, just don't be scared of stuff. Just take it on. Mm -hmm.